what is the skill you still want to learn? Siguro, I want to learn more crisis and risk management. Are you currently facing a lot of crisis in your work coachness? <laughs> yeah, konte. Oh, nag- nagka-life crisis ako lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, parang ibang crisis management naman ng life crisis. What is up, mga kakada? We're back with another episode of Hashtag Coach Bites. For this episode, we are joined by a very special coach joining us all the way from Spain. So our coach today is Coach Ness, who is currently a master's student. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm basically just starting my day here. It's currently 9 a.m., but I think it's going to be a beautiful day. And yeah, right now I'm with Lorenzo, which is really wild. But yeah, I think we can have fun right now. We can have fun today. And thank you once again for choosing to spend your morning with Kada Career. So before I started, um, I did my bachelor's degree in the LSU Manila. So coachness was just, you know, um, a confused college student who is not sure <laughs> what to do with her life. But all she just wants is to pass pass all of her classes, all her exams. But yeah, I was a, a dual degree student. But then later on, I realized that uh, I just want to focus more on psychology because as I studied, uh, I fell in love with the subject. So I just focus on psychology throughout my college years. And then I did some internships in human resources and then after that um, I had my first job with recruitment operations uh, yeah, I was with Shell but then I realized again that as I was doing the work you know every day for more than a year I realized that being in HR being in industrial psychology is also not making me happy it's not fulfilling to me it's not inspiring me or motivating me like for me masyado siyang routine. This is the start of a very uh, not a linear career growth because from there I started uh, jumping on one industry to another which I would say is not really a bad thing today in our time and age. So I started uh, from HR I shifted career tracks to creatives so that's when I started a journey as a copywriter or as a marketing uh, professional I was a social content manager with uh, with an advertising agency and from there I started to and then started to enjoy copywriting that's when I worked with Globe and from there I appreciated it even more you know the process uh, just coming up with ideas working with different creatives working with different people like designers I don't know there's just so much to learn from those people and it's so much more dynamic because iba-ibang classing projects pupunta sa iyo like iba-ibang brands yung kailangan kailangan mong pag-isipan ng, ng content or ng ideas, ng strategy, basically. Then yeah, and then from Globe, I switched again to agency side. I work in the marketing agency, and that's where I became a content strategist, which is oh, parang ano naman siya, next level from being just a digital copywriter because there I started to present clients, which is nerve-wracking. It really moved me out of my comfort zone because for me personally, I don't like public speaking. It scares me. It makes me feel nervous. But I think, you know, getting exposed to what I fear about or kung saan ako natatakot, I think it helped. I don't know. I just really see the, the value in it. That's why I just kept doing it anyway. And I try, try to be better after every presentation that I have to do because I know it's my responsibility and people are also counting on me. So, yeah. And then from there, I decided to just, you know what? after all these years of working I realized ko na I still want to study I still want to learn so that's when I just in the middle of the pandemic I decided you know what I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna try out the schools I'm gonna check out schools abroad and make my dream happen of studying in another country happen like let's try to make this come true so you know I think that's one of the things that also kept me going and motivated me during isolation during the height of the pandemic like it's one of the things that kept me going. It's one of the reasons that I'm getting up every day as well. So what I was saying earlier, like, it's not exactly a bad thing to keep switching companies and jobs. While I didn't stay in one industry for a long time, I only kept doing one type of job. So that's why I don't think it's good. Because if you keep doing one type of job,
job, then that means you're also growing in it. Because you're exposed to different kinds of leaders, mentors, and different sources of learning. So basically, getting the knowledge, the exposure, the network from different companies and industries while being consistent. Consistent in upgrading my skill set or my arsenal per se as a professional. And honestly, I don't think uh, changing jobs a lot, especially these days, is not a bad thing as long as every step is uh, purposeful to you, to your career. And like you know, this is going to contribute to you personally or professionally in one way or another. If you know that, deep down in your heart, you know, just do it. Thanks for sharing that, Coach Tess. And especially to your point na before you're really afraid of public speaking. Well, this platform isn't really public speaking, but you're virtually speaking yeah. to a lot of audiences. So thank you for mm-hmm. going out of your comfort zone. But to revert back to your sharing, I'm just curious why Spain in particular? That's a country that's not really on the radar of many people, or especially Filipinos when they're thinking of abroad. It's usually mm-hmm. United States or Singapore or Australia, right? Like the only Filipino I probably know who went to Spain was Jose Rizal Paz, which was <laughs> way, way, way back. So, why <laughs> Spain? Um, well, yeah, factor yun. Like, oh, Spain is really rich in culture, history, and, uh, you know, a lot of artistic, um, a lot of art, basically. But one of the factors that I considered while I was choosing a country that I would study in, like, I wanted to be completely different from my home, from my environment. Like, that's me pushing myself again to get out of my comfort zone and to like experience a new kind of adventure. Lalo na nung lahat tayo isolated, lahat tayo nakahulong ng lockdown, lahat tayo umay na sa bahay. So I'm like, shoot, after this, I just really want something a co- like a complete 180p from. So, I don't know, Spain was also very unexpected for me because when I was choosing countries, I was uh, also considering like Singapore, Australia, or even Canada. But honestly, none of those were like Like my heart wasn't really leaning fully into any of those countries, and then Spain. My parents brought up also the idea of Spain, and I'm like, yeah, that's very interesting. Like it's very unique. Plus, also one of the reasons that I decided to like pursue studying here is because of the weather. <laughs> like uh, out of all the European countries, I think that. Spain has like um, has this perfect weather for me. Like it's not always too cold, and the winters are just mild. Like the hindi nags snow. I mean yes, balamig pero hindi nags snow and uh, still move around. Yeah, and Spanish people are also very friendly. They're very approachable. One thing that I also considered is also the safety and the cost of living. Interestingly, I didn't go to the big cities like Barcelona or Madrid. Uh, I went here to Malaga, which is Like, like okay lang din sa akin kasi kakaiba. It's another environment to explore na hindi ganun ko common but I know there's a lot to discover in it and that's what really interested me and really sparked my curiosity which is really good for me I would say. As a personal preference, you know, as someone who's always seeking something new and studying here in Spain, I guess it also allows me to travel to other places uh, nearby. Yeah, like Portugal, France, and yeah, many more. I think there's really just a lot in store here if you're like gonna study here. In- what could be mm-hmm. your advice? Is- someone who's aspiring to achieve what you've done like getting into those different sorts of jobs in different industries and perhaps also expanding their borders outside the country what were the practical action points that they could also start doing one, one thing that instantly came to mind is money <laughs> it's true that uh, every move that you have to make especially if you want to study outside of the country It's gonna cost, especially for us Filipinos. Like, dami nating requirements na kailangan submit sa embassy. Dami nating requirements na ngan pagdaanan or ipasa para lang makalabas ng bansa, even just as a tourist. So what more as a as a student, right? Or as someone who wants to migrate. So what I would say is that if you see yourself in another country in like in the next two years or five years, like start saving up for it the way you would save up for a K-pop concert kung fan girl. <laughs> 
Like start saving now if you're really if you're really set into it, you know. And of course, uh, discipline as well. Be disciplined with with your time and with your money. And as for switching jobs, naman, tangan ka may konting discounted. Make sure na yung susunod na trabaho, uh, even if ibang industry, ibang company pa. Make sure that the job is aligned with what you're previously doing. Uh, not just aligned, but if hindi aligned, make sure na to like like a next level kind of job and i would say if you're applying for like a job that requires more experience or requires more skill set i would say uh, don't feel too intimidated because uh, there's always like uh, you can always work around it basically by doing free courses by doing volunteer work by doing uh, internships and when it comes to switching jobs jumping from one industry to another i would say to make sure that the next job that you'll do It's, it's going to make you happier. I know working doesn't make us happy. It sucks to be working five days a week. But at least, find at least one thing na magugustuhan mo sa susunod mong trabaho na wala kasi natin mong work, you know. At least it's going to keep you inspired or motivated. So, yeah. To reiterate what Coach Ned said, <laughs> kailangan mag-ipon at maging madiskarte. So, wag mo na mag-iPhone kung wala kang ipon. <laughs> Diba? So I guess that's a great starting point to our next segment, which is fast off. First question. Oh my god! Since you're in designing, what is the best graphic design platform? For me, Adobe, still Photoshop. So yeah, napahiya pa yung mga Canva users who can't do Adobe <laughs> stuff. Next question: Who is your celebrity crush? Oh my god, ang dami. But for me, it's Jackson Wang. Oh yes, Hong Kong gang. <laughs> heaven, I love him. I love him also. Super funny. Love him from roommate. All right, yes. love Kaya. <laughs> Next question. Since you studied psychology, so, yeah. what is your favorite psycho thriller film? Oh God, not sure if this is psycho, but seven. No, I think thriller lang siya, but it can play with your mind. Yeah. The director is David Fincher. It's basically yeah. about crime, crime thriller, but it also like, plays with your head a lot. Like it's gonna make you think. Like ano ba talaga nangyayari? Or sino ba talaga matay? What is really the motive? What's the intention? It's basically like how the Joker from Batman makes you. Yeah, but it's more intense and gory, I would say. Next question. Since I know you, you recently done a <laughs> European tour. So out of all the countries you visited, which is your favorite European country? Mm-hmm. Wow. So far, it's uh, Portugal. This one so underrated. I, I really recommend it to everybody who wants to start a tour here in Europe. Visit Lisbon. Like the value for money is good. The food everywhere is amazing. Uh, the culture is also rich, and the architecture is also one of a kind. So yeah, and Portuguese people are also very friendly. Guys, make sure to start booking your tickets to Portugal. Next question: What is a skill you still want to learn? Oh, a skill that I want to learn. Like, can this be any skill or kailangan related to? It can be career related and also something that's just for fun. Siguro, I wanna learn more either project management or crisis management, crisis and risk management, something like that. Are you currently facing a lot of crisis in your work, coachness? <laughs> yeah, konte. Oh, nag nag life crisis ako lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, parang ibang crisis management naman ang life crisis next question what is the current book you're reading? right now I'm reading this book that I bought uh, from a bookshop in Portugal um wait let's see basically um selected short stories by Edgar Allan Poe so yeah it's this one Yeah, reading. I got it uh, from from Portugal. In ten years' time, Coach Ness would have achieved blank. In ten years' time, Coach Ness would have achieved a very colorful and rich life. Something that I can always look back to and see now. That make memories. In ten years, I want to look back in my life and have memories that I can say that that I can be proud of that I've achieved. Not just in work or in my other goals, but, but you know, person something that experiences them would have enriched me holistically as a person. You know, so, yeah. In ten years, I would have lived like a rich, colorful life that I don't regret. It doesn't matter. Like it's not that important to me. Like you know, being millionaire. I think what's more important to me is I feel more of a millionaire in terms of life experiences 
and with the people that I've met and the culture that I've learned and lived in. Don't we want all that uh, intentional, well-lived life? I would say to just step back and take a breather, like take a pause. I think it's um, the purpose of that is yes, you have to rest. And it's also important to have this moment of clarity where you're coming from a place of like introspection, self-reflection. The goal is to, to have to put your mind on a clean slate. Because I feel like all of us were moving at such a fast pace environments right now and Hataya overstimulated from work from personal stuff and from social media basically like most of the time let's admit it we're all distracted and we just sometimes need to like take a step back and have this moment actually really think you know to actually confront what's uh, the things that are bothering us the things that are not okay with us at the moment basically take a step back and see what you're just tolerating and what's not making you happy and basically you lean in kung nasan yung puso mo isundan mo it doesn't necessarily have to be a person or crush mo pero <laughs> when it comes to career we later realize that it's not something that we discover after graduation it's not something that we discover in the first job that we get but it's really a journey like a process so i would say take a step back and ask yourself align pa ba to sa gusto ko like align pa ba yung work na ginagawa ko sa mga values or principles na meron ako as a person and if your answer is no or if your answer is a maybe that's okay that's also valid but I think what's important is that um, you have to be thoughtful and purposeful of the next steps that you want to do that you have to undertake in order to get out to that situation you know in order to make uh, a certain change happen for yourself that's a great note to end and if our audiences out there would want a deeper dive into their own personal career journeys so if you want to have one-on-one conversations with coaches like coach Ness just click on the caption and it will redirect you to our coach connector platform where our coaches like coach Ness will be more than happy to guide you navigate around yeah. your career journey so with that thank you so much coach Ness for taking the morning off for Kata Career and we'll see you hopefully soon. Of course, yes. Malapit na ako umuwi. Yeah. So I really hope to see the Kada crew in Manila soon and hang out with you guys. And of course, it's always a pleasure to spend some time with you, with our Kada crew and also with our cadets. And to anyone who's just uh, looking for some help or for some answers regarding their career paths or what they want to do after school, we're all more than happy to be here for you and answer your questions as coaches. So yeah, see you soon, guys. And thank you so much again, Lorenzo, for your time. It's, you know, always fun having you as our, as our host. <laughs> so thank you so much. <laughs> It's definitely an honor. So yeah, we'll see each other again, guys, next week for another episode of <laughs> Hashtag Coach Bites. But for now, it's bye-bye. Annyeong, or Coach, yeah. since you're in Spain. Uh, yeah. Adios, hasta pronto, or hasta luego. But yeah, hasta pronto, it means see you soon. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yung tinuro ni Dora eh, pati ni Diego. So, ayun guys, sila yung bye-bye sa Spanish. Mas natututo ka ba kapag one-on-one ang usapan? Huwag kang mag-alala! Because Kada Career lets cadets choose a coach that they'd want to consult with through the platform's offered coaching sessions. Get to interact with different coaches from a vast array of fields and expertise whose aim is to guide you in your journey of excelling in your career. But, That's not all. Here in Kada Career, hindi ka nag-iisa because of the inclusive community that welcomes you to the platform. Get to meet and interact with other people that share the same experiences as you as the community strives to empower one another in achieving their goals in life. O ba? Diba? talagang sulit dito sa Kada Career dahil libre ang admission. What else are you waiting for? Sali ka na sa Kada Career and take one step closer to reaching for the stars. Kada career. Basta career, kada career.